Li Bingbing, born on February 27, 1973, in Wuchang City, Harbin, Heilongjiang Province, China, is a Chinese film and television actress and singer. She graduated from the Performance Department of Shanghai Theatre Academy with a bachelor's degree. Early Life Experience Li Bingbing was born in Wuchang County, Harbin, Heilongjiang Province, in the spring of 1973. As the eldest daughter of an ordinary working-class family in a small and isolated county town, she was not considered a favorite by her parents. Despite her parents' love for literature and the arts, with her mother's talent in singing and dancing and her father's skills in playing the arrow, a traditional Chinese musical instrument, Li Bingbing was never recognized by her family due to her poor academic performance during primary school at Wuchang No. 1 Primary School. Her parents showed a clear preference for her younger sister, Li Shui, who had better grades. Even her teachers did not like her because she was considered a student who excelled only in certain subjects. Her father, following traditional Chinese parenting, was strict and critical, lacking encouragement. These experiences caused a lack of confidence in Li Bingbing during her childhood, making her become silent, introverted, and physically hunched over, even when walking. In 1989, Li Bingbing graduated from Wuchang No. 3 Middle School. Her parents hoped she would attend high school and then university to escape the confines of the small county town. However, she believed that was an unattainable goal. In order to financially support her family at an early age, she insisted on choosing and entering Jishi Normal School. At the age of 16, she left home and excelled in various areas at the school, including playing musical instruments like the piano and accordion, singing and dancing, and even drawing and acrobatics. She gained recognition from her teachers and classmates. In 1992, after graduating from Jishi Normal School, Li Bingbing became a music teacher at Wuchang Experimental Primary School in Harbin, China. Her performance at the Jishi Spring Festival Gala caught the attention of actor Gao Chang, who strongly recommended her to audition for film school. Although Li Bingbing had never thought of becoming an actress, she was determined to fulfill her parents' expectations and become a university student. She studied diligently for several months, reviewing cultural courses for the college entrance examination, Gao Kao. Eventually, she was admitted to Shanghai Theater Academy with a score that exceeded the admission line by 30 points. However, when she received the notice of admission as a self-funded student, her mother had a sudden heart attack, and the surgery cost 30,000 yuan. This financial burden, combined with their monthly income of less than 300 yuan, put the family in dire straits. Li Bingbing contemplated giving up her dream, but her father, desperate, said, other children want to go to college but fail to get in. Even if we have to sell everything, we will send you to university. At the age of 20, she entered the university, and during her time there, she wrote and performed a sketch that won a national first prize. She used every spare moment to act in films and earn money to pay off her mother's high medical expenses and debts, becoming the pillar of support for her family. In addition to supporting her sister's tuition and living expenses, she would travel by train with bags full of gifts whenever she had the chance to visit her sister. Career Experience Li Bingbing made her debut in 1994. In 2000, she starred in the film A Happy Chinese New Year, which was nominated at the 56th Venice International Film Festival. She shared the Best Actress Award at the 13th Singapore International Film Festival with Lu Lin for her performance in the film. However, A Happy Chinese New Year did not receive much attention domestically due to a ban on its screening. In 2004, Li Bingbing's sister, Li Xue, officially became her manager. In 2005, she received a nomination for Best Actress at the 25th Golden Rooster Awards for her role in the film Waiting Alone. That same year, she appeared in the film A World Without Thieves and received a nomination for Best Supporting Actress at the 100 Flowers Awards for her portrayal of the character Xiaoya, a seductive thief. She was also nominated for Best Actress at the Golden Rooster Awards for two consecutive years. In 2005, Li Bingbing starred in the TV drama Eight Heroes. It was not until director Ian Lee invited her to star in the film The Knot that she gained recognition. The film earned her the Outstanding Actress Award at the 12th China Film Hua Biao Awards and the Best Actress Award at the 29th Hundred Flowers Awards. She also starred in the TV drama The Return of the Pearl Princess, in which she played the character Yi Wanxin. In 2008, Li Bingbing appeared in the film The Forbidden Kingdom and portrayed the white-haired witch. She personally performed all the fight scenes for the role. That same year, she starred in the romantic film Sweet Revenge, playing the role of Fu Wenjia, a quirky lawyer's assistant. 
In 2009, Li Bingbing won the Best Actress Award at the 46th Golden Horse Awards for her performance in the film The Message. She went on to appear in several commercial films, including Detective D and the Mystery of the Phantom Flame, The King of Guns, and I Do. In the same year, she established her own philanthropic brand called L.O.V.E, which advocates for responsible living and conducts non profit activities related to its mission. In December, she served as a guest host at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen and delivered a speech in English. In 2010, Li Bingbing established her own studio and invested in the film 1911 Revolution as one of the producers. In addition to managing her domestic entertainment business, her studio ventured into film investments and other diverse operations. From then on, Li Bingbing started to limit her workload and focused on maintaining the quality of her works. In the same year, she was invited by Wendy Deng to star as the female lead in the Hollywood art film Snowflower and the Secret Fan. During the premiere of the film in New York, director Paul W.S. Anderson invited Li Bingbing to play the role of Ada Wong in Resident Evil, Retribution. In 2011, Li Bingbing's cover photo for the 24th anniversary edition of Fashion Bazaar, China was selected by the global fashion magazine Harper's Bazaar as one of the best covers of 2010. Her flaming red lips look was displayed at the intersection of West 57th Street and 8th Avenue on the Hearst Tower in Manhattan, New York. She also received the Film of the Year Star Award at the Asia Pacific Film Exhibition. In 2012, Li Bingbing was invited to attend the 84th Academy Awards red carpet for her role in the film The Forbidden Kingdom. On February 10, 2012, she starred in the film I Do, which was released on February 10. In September of the same year, Li Bingbing became the first mainland Chinese actress to have her wax figure displayed at Madame Tussauds Hong Kong. She was also the first mainland Chinese actress to have wax figures in both Shanghai and Hong Kong. However, due to the Diaoyu Islands dispute, she did not attend the Tokyo premiere of Resident Evil, Retribution and expressed her stance on the issue, stating that she would not go to Japan as long as the dispute continued. In October, she officially signed with the Hollywood talent agency UTA which represents her in the United States and overseas. Following that, Li Bingbing spent six months in Los Angeles studying foreign languages on her own. In January 2013, Li Bingbing became the global ambassador for the luxury brand Gucci, making her the first worldwide ambassador for Gucci in its 100-year history. She was already the brand's ambassador for the Asia-Pacific region in 2012. Her personal philanthropic brand, LOVE, collaborated extensively with Gucci and released a special watch engraved with the message Gucci and Li Bingbing for Responsible Life, making her the first Chinese celebrity to incorporate her name and environmental conservation concepts into a luxury product. In April, the Hollywood magazine Variety held an awards ceremony in Los Angeles specifically for Li Bingbing and honored her with the Asian Star Award. In August, she appeared in Paramount Pictures' Hollywood film Transformers, Age of Extinction as the female lead, playing the role of a scientist named Su Yuming responsible for creating Transformers. She co-starred with Jason Statham. In November, at the China-US Film Summit in Los Angeles, Li Bingbing was awarded the East-West Talent Award. At the end of November, she was invited to serve as a judge for the 50th Golden Horse Awards in Taiwan. On June 27, 2014, the film Transformers, Age of Extinction in which Li Bingbing starred was released. The film ultimately grossed 1.97 billion renminbi, breaking multiple box office records and becoming the highest-grossing domestic film of the year. On February 19, 2015, her film Zhong Kuei, Snow Girl and the Dark Crystal was released, and Li Bingbing won the Most Influential Actress Award and Best Actress Award at the Third London Chinese Film Festival for her performance in the film. In the same year, she served as a mentor on the Zhujiang TV reality show, I See Your Voice. Towards the end of the year, she starred in the adventure film Nest set in the Eastern Imperial Tombs and served as a creative producer. In May 2016, Li Bingbing was invited to attend the 69th Cannes Film Festival, and her red carpet look at the opening ceremony was selected by foreign media outlet Ian Line as one of the 10 best looks. In August, she joined the Hollywood film The Meg, playing the role of marine biologist Zhang Yin and co-starring with Jason Statham. In December, she appeared on the cover of T Magazine. In October 2019, she participated in the Zhujiang TV original performance reality show I Am an Actor, The Ultimate Challenge. On September 15, 2021, Li Bingbing attended the kickoff press conference for the film Ordinary Heroes, in which she co-starred with Feng Xiaofang. On December 18, she appeared on the innovative custom variety show My New Name Card Season 2.
On June 27, 2022, she participated in the live streaming on June 27, 2022, Li Bingbing participated in the Our Bohemia Flower Cloud Song event. On August 14, she attended the 2022 Weibo Movie Night. On September 30, the film Ordinary Heroes, in which she played a leading role, was released. On December 10, she participated as a judge in the final of the 2022 Weibo Street Dance Competition. Personal Life In June 2014, Li Bingbing announced her decision to obtain Hong Kong citizenship in response to the development of Hollywood. She applied for the Quality Migrant Admission Scheme and planned to invest in properties in Hong Kong. On December 1, 2015, Li Bingbing fell ill and was hospitalized. She shared a photo of herself lying in a hospital bed on Weibo and revealed her body temperature, which was 37.6 degrees Celsius. On December 16, 2015, photos were posted by staff members of Li Bingbing's studio on social media, showing her returning to China for treatment. It was reported that she had been suffering from a high fever for 16 consecutive days in Australia, and despite the inability to diagnose her condition, she decided to fly back to China. Upon landing, she went directly to the hospital, where it was discovered that she had developed purulent tonsillitis. Her tonsils were completely covered in white, and she couldn't speak or eat. Fortunately, she received timely treatment upon returning to China, and her high fever began to slowly subside. On November 22, 2021, Li Bingbing posted about her health problems, including fatigue, insomnia, and feeling cold all over. On January 4, 2017, Li Bingbing publicly revealed her relationship with her boyfriend by sharing intimate photos of them at the beach. She stated that everything was the best arrangement. According to reports, her boyfriend's name is Su Wunnan, an Anhui native who currently holds a senior executive position in a company. In March 2021, Li Bingbing revealed in an interview that she had broken up with her boyfriend. In summary, in 2012, when mainland Chinese actresses were vying to enter Hollywood, Li Bingbing also played a role in the movie Resident Evil, Retribution as Ada Wong, a female agent. She practiced with a 5-kilogram silver prop gun 10 times a day, eventually building up muscles. However, the Resident Evil series was entirely dominated by Mila Jovovich, the female lead. Despite having a substantial 20 minutes of screen time, Li Bingbing's role seemed insignificant. In an interview, she expressed regret, saying, there weren't many action scenes, and the gunplay wasn't satisfying. I felt it was too little, and I could have done more. In 2014, it was announced that Li Bingbing would join the cast of Transformers, Age of Extinction. In the 166-minute film, Li Bingbing only had 10 minutes of screen time, but her character provided enough space for her to shine. Interestingly, at various premiere events around the world, Li Bingbing managed to steal the spotlight from the female lead, Nicola Peltz. When asked about her experience filming Transformers 4, she said, you still have to be daring and professional, showcase your expertise to the director, and make requests. You can't just be like a marionette, following orders without question, in such a big blockbuster. That would be ridiculous. Over the course of two years, her screen time decreased from 20 minutes to 10 minutes, but she gained more recognition. This reflects her current mindset. Li Bingbing is known for her straightforward personality and is seen as an independent, individualistic, low-profile, and resilient woman. She conveys positive energy through her diligent and dedicated work ethic. As an actress, she is versatile, with a wide range of roles and a strong sense of symbolism in blockbuster films. She can handle various genres and portrays characters with depth. Her exceptional acting skills have earned her recognition from prestigious awards. Additionally, Li Bingbing is closely integrated with the fashion industry, and her striking modeling abilities have gained recognition from major fashion magazines. Her unique temperament has also made her a favorite of high-end brands. Beyond her acting career, Li Bingbing is actively involved in philanthropy. She has initiated and personally participated in numerous environmental and charitable activities, wholeheartedly fulfilling her responsibility to give back to society.